All right. Let's cook racing. <clears throat> um, showing you one of my projects. Uh, previously, I had uh, um, showed you this boat on my previous <clears throat> videos on this. Excuse me. Um, I upgraded a couple things on this thing. Um, the wider rudder helps me in the turns because um, I'm running on 6S. I'm running two of these Gen's Ace 45C. I should have just got 50C, but I keep it light by going with less milliamps on this. Um, upgrading the um, up to uh, double water water pickups. Um, I'm actually I actually have two of these on each side. You can check it out on Offshore Electric. Um, a Taurus strut, uh, which I just got it all polished out and had to do a couple things to make it, you know, perfectly straight. Uh, another thing about the shaft, the shaft is a full upgraded from inside out. I'll give you a quick look on the hood here. Um, coupler that I have is a Tora so it's a 150 shaft upgrade on a blackjack 29 um, it's sweet comes with a Teflon you don't have to buy a Teflon but I did anyway uh, assuming that they you know was separate but it's the full package uh, let me move a couple things around in here so you can see the water pickup here that comes from the rear um, with this mod, I put a T in it last night and, uh, I had the rear of this capped off. I was only running the front one, but I have quad, you know, pickups in this rudder, sweet rudder. Uh, I also had a block set up in here, um, that wasn't efficient. Uh, you know, it was way too much weight and I wanted to make it, so I had to go custom and make this. You know by hand you know I like um, it's lighter uh, I put a lot of weight on the side of this hall uh, and my batteries make up for the other side um, sand this couplers uh, a five to a four and it's the upgrade for the um, blackjack 29 from offshore electric um, uh, the the holes for my water cooling upgrade, they're upgrade, they're a lot more of water going through is a bigger hose, large diameter. Um, the only thing I didn't install was the P-hole for the exhaust side coming out of the motor. So it goes into the jacket, which this motor is pretty sweet. Um, it's a 2000 kV, I mean it's huge. Uh, I probably could pick a lighter motor. I do have a dynamite. I haven't put anything in, um, you know, just to keep the weight right. But this motor has not let me down off of Amazon. It's like a, what is it? A Ghoul Racing 2000 kV motor that, I mean, low kV, high volts, sick. Love it. Uh, I picked up this uh, adapter to run the series from my local hobby shop here in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. They're awesome. Um, motor mounts, they're just throw it together. I want to run it. I just fabbed up some holes and I can move it from front to back. It is what it is. You know, um, I'm going, going with some stainless in that eventually. Uh, the boat's awesome. I just got a new light, so excuse my plastic on there. It's a little bright. Uh, I did another upgrade on my Sonic Wake. I, we ran last night at my cousin's house, uh, Half Moon Lake, and this is what happened. Um, I had a, a issue with my water pickup. And let me turn on the light so you can get a better look at that. Okay. So, <clears throat> I had this five-minute epoxy in here. But I ended up using something else, as you can see. 
So right in between the tabs, the turn fin and the tabs, I end up using this thing that you, uh, this like little plastic coupler or piece that holds a uh, cable in your house, you know? And then a washer on top and it's, it's sturdy. I was cooking last night and it's self riding so I just pulled the trigger top end and I wish I had that on footage. And it flipped on me, you know. I got I was running against the wind, and I, I mean it's a big boat, but uh, came and loose on me. And five minute epoxy didn't hold right here, so I wanted to make sure it was legit. I'm probably gonna still run a zip tie here, but it looks clean. I'm gonna run it like that. Uh, this is the exhaust side of this. I mean I probably should have went with the same tubing, but. <clears throat> Like I said before, it runs on its own uh, setup. Um, this, the white, the white tubing is the exhaust port that comes out of the center of my hall. Um, this is the intake that you were seeing that I had to fix last night. Um, <clears throat> works good, and the ESC is running right off the rudder. And that's still the stock rudder. I haven't touched anything on it. You know, I wish I could, but it's fresh, brand new. Uh, I run 6S in that, like you should. If you're running 3S on it, you're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, yep, I'm running Gen Ace in these 5,000 milliamp, the 50C. I like to run this on a 50C, but I have to go up to a bigger ESC which I'm happy with what I got. I need a better run. I flipped it over. Um, I, I keep extra noodles in it so it stays afloat. And I got to get like a small dinghy to make sure I can go get it because I have ponds here and it sucks to go have to, you know, retrieve it myself. Uh, but so far in a small pond, she had 45 mile an hour on the dynamite uh, GPS. Um, yeah, before I end this off, I like to thank uh, Mr. Mad24. Uh, his stuff rocks. I, I watch his stuff every day. Uh, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. If you like it, I mean, can't do nothing but try. I love these boats. They rock. Got any questions? Hopefully, I can help you. Or if you got anything you want to tell me, I should be doing. Um, I'm welcome to it. Uh, like and subscribe.